You know, that's very, that's very brutal, that opening. It's, it's powerful, you know. But right now, I wanted to explode with Christmas toys and, and, and colorful stars. And, <laughs> and snowflakes, maybe? Well, you know what? The snowflakes is a whole other conversation, but we'll save that for the political hour. How are you, pal? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm older and slower than I was last time you saw me, but terrific. You know, end of the day here at, uh, at, at HQ, Comedy HQ, and having a little nutmeg. Um, and a, Nice. Perhaps a little nutmeg thinner I added to it as well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, some simonimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimim
look at it this way. One less foot to kick your butt with. Okay? You know, at this point. Now she, she doesn't have a good plant foot or anything. So consider it a holiday blessing. <laughs> I, I think amazing might be a strong words. I, I think it's really good. I'm, I'm enjoying watching it. I think he was amazed, Julie, that he is enjoying watching it. I think I think that's the how you draw that play out. Um, yeah, I think you're right. Um, because a lot of people go, oh, hey, you ought to watch this. And uh, it, there's a lot of swings and misses. Well, expectation can kill a moment when you got to see it. You got to see it. You got to see it. And then it's like, Wow, that was the worst thing I ever saw. Oh my god! Yeah, I'll never get that those two hours of my life back. <laughs> That's right. And so, um, um, uh, have you begun your Christmas shopping yet? Um, not really. <laughs> All right. I'll, just, uh, <laughs> I'll be real a, honest. That was uh, a very coy answer. You had you you weighed that as if in court, um, <laughs> uh, Senator. I have to say, not really. Senator, that's my final answer. Uh, I cannot confirm or deny those facts, Senator. Right. I, I have no recollection of doing either, Senator. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I, uh, so my wife's a Golden Girls fan, a Golden Girls geek, I guess. And so I'm trying to figure out the best, the some, of the, some stuff to get her to go along with that. And so since she doesn't watch this show, I think it's probably okay to talk about that. Well, it isn't because have this conversation with me privately, and there's many reasons for it. Okay. Okay. But but as we used to say in New York, I I, I can help a brother out here. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm sorry to be vague on the air, gang, but I'll tell you on December 26th. That's all I can say. Okay. So there's your clue. So you haven't bought. So basically, I just found out you haven't bought my present yet. Um, I, I already gave you my gift. You you had like homemade barbecue, whoa, 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 whoa. and, and sudden, mac and cheese and scone. A, a Thanksgiving <laughs> kindness has turned into a Christmas present. Is is that what you're saying, you cheap Midwesterner? You <laughs> you can call me a cheap bastard. That's okay. No, no, no. I don't curse on this show. I wouldn't say bastard or shit. Oh, I, I see, there's the first one already. Look at that. I keep doing that. Um, no, it's all right. You know, it's, it's it's the second of December. My mother would have been shopped, wrapped, hidden, it, you know, labeled. She was, she loved it so and was on top of this shit. Um, Julie, I think Peter's too expensive for you if you're shopping for a hubster. Oh, I'm I'm almost speechless there. Um, you know, this might be a private question, Julie, but but what size is he? You know, I can I can only he's a large man like me, and that's one eight hundred big fella right here. And uh, I don't know, I don't know what you know what I'm. I was thinking about that today. You know, a couple of books here and there. But I'm beginning to be of the age where the answer to that question is my health, more time, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah. The trick is that we're going to, the younger more than us, going to yeah. write about this year as the the year we didn't have. You know, the year everything went weird, it depends who you ask, and it's just sort of everybody's going okay. Thanksgiving was weird. Christmas is going to be weird, and, and I, I think you have to kind of celebrate its weirdness. I mean, not only did you um, show up with food and kindness, the next day my uh, leasing agent and her husband, who's also the maintenance guy here, and I'm very close with them, showed up with four plates of food. They said, "Well, we thought you'd be alone on Thanksgiving, so." Um, you know, it was the weird. I taught two improv workshops. Um, I normally were doing what I normally would do: eat and play and 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 work. So it was. I just happened to be alone. It just happens to be through the screen, like you and me. But um, um, 
it was a good and weird Thanksgiving, and I'm I'm sure Christmas will be the same. Yeah, I mean, if you expect it being normal, I think you're probably living. Uh, you, you should probably seek medical attention. <laughs> if you think but you know what, no, the, the last thing we want to do is overcrowd all the oh, hospitals right now. This, it, this is true. Just maybe, go hit maybe yourself in the head. A mental you. medical, you know. You know, see so, George, the angry therapist. He's one of my my students. A, a fine lad, by the way, and probably a good therapist. I, I don't know. That's usually the relationship I have with them. <gasps> oh, I have. I, I was looking. I, I uh, was looking actually at some of the popcorn stuff, and I'll throw uh, my screen up here now. Let's see if I can get. Uh oh, why are we freaking out? There we go. And they had. I think if I scroll down here long enough. I thought they had Golden Girls. Yeah, Golden Girls. It's Creative House and of Art and Design, which is a sponsor of PopCon. They had some uh, Golden Girl coasters. I think there's a guy on there who carves some faces in mushrooms. I, I, I think I saw that the other day. He also did Barney Miller. It was it was very likeness of fish. He did fish in a fish, I think he did once. I swear to God, I saw that. <laughs> And you can you, you can even get a map of New York. I am a map of New York, baby. <laughs> Pick a neighborhood. I'll give you a story. Why do I sound like Frank Sinatra right now? I don't know. So that's one of our sponsors uh, for PopCon. So if you're looking for some cool coasters, um, that would be one thing that you could get somebody. And they've got all sorts of stuff there. So... <laughs> That's 1-800-CHRISTMAS-GIFTS. Call now. Yeah. Operator squatting by. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll try to put the, the link someplace once we, at the end of this or something like that, so everybody can see what's going on. And by the hey. way, boys and girls, by we, he means he. I don't I do not do any of that stuff. I have a uh, exclusive talent-only contract with PopCon right now. <laughs> yeah. So. No, no, no technical expertise. Oh, no, no, no. We I can't have. afford that. Oh, no, I, and I have people for that anyway. So there's, you know, that's right, we happen. can't afford union rates, and we know that you would be d definitely the technician union. You know, there really should be a character called Old Popcorn. You know, that's that's his name. I was, you know, Old Popcorn himself. That's right. He, he has the stories about, you know, old conventions before your, you know, your grandmother. No, I can't tell that story about your grandmother. <laughs> I usually has words I can't say during the daylight. They don't let me do that on the radio. Hey, Kelly Vince from uh, Minnesota, A eh, is joining us. So, good afternoon, Kelly. That's up. How's the weather up there? Are your chestnuts frozen yet, there, Kel? What's going on up in Minnesota? I bet it's chilly. Well, it's chilly here, dear. You know, I see frost on the cars from my, you know, my window here at the. Comedy HQ. Yeah, yeah. I was I, I was having to scrape windows today, so that I was not uh, really too enthused about that yeah, this morning. Yeah. I I like the uh, the uh, breakfast anytime improv that dropped yesterday. Um, I think Drinky the new elf well, <laughs> is going to be one of my favorites. We're we're particularly <laughs> fond of Drinky, but uh, and Santa paid a surprise visit. You know that was um, and and by the way, um, there was like a hundred eighty views of it, and if you look down in the conversation, it, it seemed to have been hijacked by some. I don't know. It could have been North Korean, could have been Philippine. I didn't understand the language, but suddenly we're probably you know we might be big in Boingo Boingo somewhere, or you know a, a country I don't know. <laughs> but if you go to Breakfast Anytime Improv and you check out the our latest video, which comes out every Tuesday, and then scroll down and look at the conversation, and if somebody speaks that language, please let me know what's being said, you know? Uh, and if they have a link, that never click on any links, because then it's clickbait. But yeah. It was, yeah. Um, that's right. Old Popcorn. I don't know. Old Man Withers. You know what? That's what my wife once said. 
Oh man, well that's another that's a longer joke. You gotta think about that one for a minute. Um <laughs> so so did you make a list of things you want? You asked the fans to. Um uh, yeah, I kind of I, I, I thought something like I found some cool stuff. And mm -hmm. let's see. So we hinted at this a couple weeks ago. We did what? Spaceballs the Growler for those beer geeks in your life. Um, I have never set a set up worse in my life, but um, what's a growler? <laughs> uh, basically, uh, you can fill up full of beer. So if you go to a brew pub, you know, or a brewery, you can have them fill that up and you can take home 64 but, ounces of beer. Oh, a growl, so that's the I was looking numerically. A growler is 64 ounces. Uh, I believe so, yes. Okay. Well, you know what? I stand uh, informed. Yeah. That's what we try to do here at uh, <laughs> Popcom Morning Show. Inform <laughs> and educate and entertain. Well, you know what? I'm in charge of the uh, entertainment and the annoying part, usually. So, uh, <laughs> well, you know, old man, you know what? I remember the first growler. You're... You know, your grandmother was a growler, but no, I can't talk about that either. That's a whole other story. Anyway, I think he's going to be a regular character here now. Old, old man Popcon, old Popcon himself. Old Popcon. Yeah. Old Popcon, that's right. <laughs> well, and, and so here's one I thought about. I was, I was thinking about getting you a gift. Oh, see, thinking. Now, you know, do... Don't try, do, or do. You know, what's that <laughs> quote that you uh, geeks like to say all the time? Do or do not. There is no try. That a boy. I knew yeah, that. There we go. I so, knew it. I just wanted you to hear it. Ooh, what is this that? Is, um, this is um, Pure Honey, made in Indiana, and they're right. also a PopCon sponsor. Wait a so second. It says Pure Honey and Bee Juice. What does that say? Pure Honey. I can't read it. Oh no! Standard I, I, wildflower. Fantastic! You know what? That's that's lovely. You know, but the real question is: Will you pour my tea as well? That's you know, when when the time comes, young man. Um, <laughs> that, that, that's a lovely gift. You know, not that we're worried about my diabetes or anything, but then that's fine with the sugar. And, no, I don't have diabetes. I'm just saying that I'm going for a walk over here now. And so they got like different sizes that you can buy, of course, and all that fun stuff. So I thought the next time I have tea, it would probably be nice to bring some honey as a. Uh, Where would one find their website, young man? It's Dragonwood Online. Um, and if you go to popcon.usa, uh, most of these all have links here. Excellent. So Dragonwood is right there. You know, and. Um, Mr. Mayor, if you're if you're listening, that's what we call a setup, and then and, and, you know, focusing on on our friends there. Are yeah. You there, Mr. Mayor, if you're there, I, you know what? I have a feeling he's not there because he pop in quickly. I think. <laughs> oh, no, it's just me and you. There we go. I'm standing. Yeah. Here. I I haven't seen him today, so I don't know if he's around or not. Let me see if I can pull up what um what the kids were showing oh my goodness what gabrielle i think um is want some shoes for christmas oh boy yeah that's an, that's an expensive habit oh especially with her you know gabrielle this is a true story and, and i can i can corroborate witnesses i once upon a time i drank champagne out of a leopard pump. <laughs> oh, oh, sister, there we go. You know what? Wow. All right, and and huh, I don't. I'm dare I? And and Gabriel, what would one wear those with? Whatever you want. I, I wasn't asking you, dumpling. You know. <laughs> Now I gotta get you out of my head in those shoes because that's a hideous image, <laughs> you know. Jeez, I got really nice calves. It would show off the shoes very well. Oh yeah, you know when they have to tell you they have nice calves, they don't have nice calves. Oh, I've been told I've had nice calves. Well, that's you know, 
obviously they weren't working when you kicked your wife down the stairs, you know, over the over the holidays. So <laughs> I, I, I was told I needed to to go from a higher level, not just go down two steps. You know, it's it's and yet it's all in the plant foot too. <laughs> you know, just ask any kicker. You know, that's that's really. Um, who else has uh, been asking for stuff for Christmas? You know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, Sorry, I got to put this. <laughs> oh, you know what? Oh, Julie, why are you starting with me? You know. Yes, that, that, that I, made I, me laugh. Boys and girls at home, just know, I'm not allowed to converse within this conversation anymore, because I have about seventeen setups and twelve punchlines I could actually enter in the conversation, but I don't want the mayor to kill me. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you for, how, how should I word this, deflating the situation. Yes. Um, I could use more painters and ma marker, painters markers and regular markers. Oh, oh, no, painters markers. Oh, so you're, okay. So you're doing uh, traditional artwork. Okay, cool. For a second, I thought you, you know, you wanted that tape they put up in those commercials for Sherman Williams. I went, he can't possibly want those painters markers. Those, but I'm. I, I read I'm, it as makers, and ah, I thought he was talking about bourbon. Well, you know, probably that's that's the thinner in the eggnog talking right now. <laughs> that could be. So George, well, it's it says markers, doesn't it say markers? It, it does say markers. All right, well then, you know, get off my case, Junior. I, it, it's <laughs> right. You're right. Um, George Lane sent us this one um, to a Kickstarter, and he said that these guys were, you know, originally came out in the 80s, maybe, or 90s, early 90s, and um, that this is a relaunch of them. So, what are they? Again, it comes on my screen very small, Wes. Um, what are they? They're called uh, Boglins. And there's not really a good. Oh, there we go. Why don't you tell me what they are, dear? Because that screen is even smaller than the one from before. Oh, uh, okay. I'm sorry. What's a Bachman? It looks like a little monster. And what does um, one do with it? I, I think it's just like a it sets on your shelf, like a pet rock. For those who remember what that is, yeah. Can you see that now? It's ornamental. There you go. Oh well, it's, how, it's a how's lovely that? little creature. And was it from a movie or did it just kind of create itself? I, I think it's like just an old toy, and that they're re trying to relaunch through Kickstarter. Okay. I don't I remember them at all. Not so, being into uh, monsters, and probably I was in my 30s when that probably came out the first time. So that's why I don't know it. Sure. Let's see. What else? Let's go back to Julie and those shoes and vacuuming for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to dig for... Uh, uh, you know, there are, there are many speeds on a vacuum. I don't know if you didn't know that. Anyway, um, let me have this conversation quickly. There, there we go. No, no, no. That's <laughs> not the way back. No, no, no. <laughs> back to more fun, maybe? Well, sure, but, you know, it's Christmas. Uh, I don't want the great Christmas massacre to happen. Old, old Popcorn died that day, and it was terrible. <laughs> Atta girl. Thank you, darling. At least you could read minds. We appreciate that much. Yeah, there's and, not much to read sometimes here, but nope. any pictures sent to Peace Fellows, care of well, <laughs> you know the address. There we go. Um, I'm trying. Let me see. I lost. There we go. Um, let me pull up one of another sponsor. Oh, which please is SweetGeekStudio.com. And what do they do? They do all kinds of different artwork, but this was my favorite. That's a great painting. Is it a I painting know. or what is that? Is it done on the computer or is it done with paints or acrylics or what? I'm guessing it was probably done on the computer. Terrific. I would assume. Um, 
I didn't do that much research on it. So, um, and it doesn't really say, but th um, they do a bunch of different, you know, they got buttons and they do, they have some of their own art and fan art as well. So, and that was Sweet Geek Studios. What's well, all right. Dot com or are we just go on there? Sweet yeah, dot com. Also, if you go to popcon.us, you can find that one there as well. So have you done any Christmas shopping or are you going to do any Christmas shopping? Well, you know, um, my parole officer, uh, there's strict violations of me leaving the house at all. Um, I guess for my brother and um, his wife, I've already begun to buy stuff and send it to their address in my name and space it out enough where I'll say, don't open the box, just wrap the wrap the box and then open it on Christmas morning. Um, okay. But, you know, a, a couple of presents here and there. I do everything online because, once again, my walking is at a minimum right now, and that's, we, we, there's no place to go even less if I wanted to go somewhere. So, that's true. That's true. There's not a whole lot of places to go. So, so. I'm... And I have uh, enough interaction here on the computer, and I see Tara on Thursdays and Robert at least once a week working on um, um, more and more BA stuff. We have some stuff we're recording next week. Um, um, classic theater. Great. Not elves, but um, uh, uh, Breakfast Anytime presents the Classical Theater Minute. So, uh, okay. Yeah, we're getting weirder and weirder. Um, then, of course, the interview with Santa and Mrs. Claus that will air on the 22nd of December. Um, and we're, we're having fun, you know. That, that's the thing. I, that's what I'm doing most of. I, I'll work through the holidays. Um, I'll be here for all the little boys and girls and anybody who needs to speak to Santa on Christmas morning. You know, I also do weddings and bar mitzvahs at a, a discounted rate at this point. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, I'll do the bot mitzvah, but you know, I don't. I have to get the, you know, I don't. I don't remember all the hymns or whatever it is. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So it's going to be. It'll be fun. I've got Christmas music, and like I said, you know, Tara and Jeremy were over the other day decorating the tree, and we'll do more tomorrow. And I'm not letting no pandemic stand in the way of a good Christmas fun. You know, especially with vaccines around the corner and Great Britain okaying theirs today. And so it's, you know, if you want a little light at the end of the tunnel, I think there is some. So I, I'm going to enjoy the holidays as weird and strange as they, you know, as they seem. And come on, everybody has Netflix. So, and everybody has a favorite Christmas movie. I mean, have we done favorite Christmas movies? I think that might be next week's show. I, I think we did, didn't we do those in July. It might be good to revisit those. You know, I don't, I don't remember what I had for breakfast. You're asking me what what we did in July. You know, oh, you had really good scones made by this guy that that you brought know? them down this morning. And oh no, that was like a week ago. I remember that part. Yeah, <laughs> that's all. That's old news already. Those scones. Once again, I'm editing for. Uh, Oh, that's why I'm editing. Yes, it's 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 Name. Please and just say say it right. <laughs> yes, it's, it's Name. Um, so, um, Hillywood Studios. Um, has, they have a great online. Let me see if I can pull that up. I, oh, hilly, I, as in they live in the mountains, or Hilly, as in Hilly Billy, or it's or Swoop on Hollywood. Well, I don't know these people. Yeah, I don't know them either. Um. I would imagine they do comedy if they're called the Hollywood Show. Let me keep talking, and I will dig on that. Well, I'd like to do a monologue now for Measure for Measure, Act Four, Scene Three. No, I have no idea. I don't know any monologues. Like, hi, Carl. How are you? Did you have a nice Thanksgiving? You can just nod. I'll feel it in the force. Don't you worry. Les is doing technical things, and we know how good he is at that right now. So, uh, in the meantime, um, ouch. Man, you know, you can still donate to Make a Wish. 
you can go find what we did last uh, on Black Friday. So if you haven't donated to Make a Wish, you know, it is it is the day after Giving Tuesday. You know, it's almost Giving Thursday tomorrow. You know, and it's uh, then, of course, it's what did you buy me on Friday? That's a whole day that uh, we haven't even talked about yet. So how's that coming along, Les? I, I'm, uh, I, it looks like they have some socks and stuff. Um, I, I wasn't quite prepared to go. Oh, with well, them, but, uh, it looks like. Well, the hilly would show. Uh, 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 looking for a come up. This is bloody awesome. Oh. Hi, you my old. All right. I know it's so, a time warp. That that's what I got. Okay. I don't know what else they had. That that was the first thing that uh, I could find quickly. So, well, we're gonna take Kristen, uh, Miss 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 Kristen's word for it. Yeah, and and like I like some uh, fun socks to wear, so those are always good. Uh, why did that not go? Oh, well, that's cute. Two sisters, Hilly and Anna. See, now we get the interesting intro information. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, see, there we go. See, I knew you just wouldn't be swayed by a pair of socks, Julie. You know. Yeah, I was kind of. Oh, uh, okay. Here we go. We can. I, I found some more stuff from them. Okay. Well, it looks know. like they have some uh, some swag that you can get. Swag is good, you know. I don't. So, you know, sweatshirts, shirts, sweats. Seems lovely. Yeah. I uh, I have not watched any of their any of their stuff, so I have no no idea, but it sounds fun. You know how hard I'm working to keep this PG today? I know. I know. I so put that up on purpose. You're giving me so much comedy here. I'm just I'm going to shoot myself. You know, with so, the sadness here. Here's some artwork from um, a past artist that came to PopCon. I'm it's sure. Brian David Judkins. Um, and it's yukiopop.com. And so he's done this cool stuff. Oh, so he's a, he's a Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Well, it's Star Wars stuff. Oh, that's why, uh, that's, that, that's why you're even interested in it. Yeah, so you get like three. You, it's three panels. So it's 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 Star Wars as samurai. Yes, and it's pretty cool. I have I have this in my uh, in my office at home actually. So I recommend that for those looking uh, for some Star Wars geek stuff. You geeks are fascinating people. Why is that? Um, well, I, you know, remember, I see this from the other side of the mountain, you know. Sure. I see this from you collect stuff of mine kind of thing. And it's usually it's usually the conversations about something that's in these social media, whether it be the Mandalorian or Star, or they like this character or this wasn't true. It's I'm going to make the distinction here. When you get in front of an audience and you tell a joke to 500 people, you've just told 500 jokes because everybody hears it differently. Sure. So, so you never know. You're hoping that, you know, you get a majority and that's what causes the laughter. Well, you guys with your, with your fandoms are so nuts about the most, min the minutia in them that you get pissed when a character doesn't act the way you think she should act, or Sarah might think he should act a different way, or this isn't true to the cartoon. Because, but then the actor in me always wants to go, that's because you didn't write it, you know? <laughs> and that's how fan fiction was born, because yes. somebody said, blank that, I could write a soap opera on the ice planet Hoth. And, you know, Three months of your life goes by and you've written, you know, Love of Ice, a soap <laughs> opera about Hoth. And 
I get oh. that, but it's 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 the conversations that fascinate me when fans go at each other for having a different idea than theirs. You know, it's it just. I watched The Mandalorian as a fan. Okay. Yeah, we have talked because it's it's enjoy it's enjoyable. I don't know, you know, if Rosario Dawson was true to the character that was in one of the Rebels or one of those shows that my friend Mary directed. Um, all I know, it was a really enjoyable episode. It and was. I think and, she's and a terrific also, actor. And I, I think you got to consider. <laughs> I don't got to consider anything. I got to consider nothing. <laughs> that that character is now like 40-ish instead of being 20-ish in Clone Wars. So you're you're doing what I just said. You're, you're you're not producing this event. You know, you're I'm just trying to keep people in check. Right? I promise you it's much simpler as a fan. You know. Yeah. I am it a is. Fan. Oh, I know, I know you were. I'm busting your hump about that. I know that. But, but oh, oh you know. the, the mayor's telling us what we're going to be doing, I guess. Oh, you know what? I have not realized that corporate has edicts that they could. Of course we will. Um, I, I'll tell you mine that'll piss off all of Indiana. People love this movie, and I can't stand it. I can't stand oh, it. Oh, I know this one. Oh, yeah, it's a Christmas story. Yeah. Can't stand it. Just um, you know, oh my god. Not of my generation. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And and I like well no, we can't jump this show. We got okay. stuff to do now. Sure, yeah. sure. We got okay, so this is something cool that you know um give us something that we can buy less. Give you oh, okay. This isn't something you can buy. Well, this is something you can put an order in and will be made, right? But this is that, something you just can't go buy it. and have tomorrow, right? So oh, this yeah. is like custom artwork that you can take your old T-shirts that may or may no longer fit or be in style or whatever, but have that you know hold a lot of meaning in your heart and have a quilt made out of them. You know. I'm getting that as a present already. Oh, really? Not from this person, but in September, Tara asked for 12 of my favorite T-shirts that I wanted to give to a quilt. And I went, absolutely. So I'm expecting to see a Christmas quilt made of my T-shirts this um, this Christmas. Well, that's good. Is it like your Transformer stuff? Or is it just like New I York Mets and... I thing. don't remember what I gave her because I have, you know, in my rotation, I have 45 shirts, you know, and then there's the second rotation, which is another 30. <laughs> These were, all right, they're not in the top 75, right? I, you know, or they had, um, or they were the double X shirts that I couldn't blank and fit into anymore. So that was the, even if it was a good shirt, it was easy to give that away because, you know, I'm, I'm a couple of stones on the other side of double X. So, um, and if you need to know what a stone is, look it up, kids. Um, um, oh, oh. So I guess I guess the mayor says that we're not doing th this. Is great, Carl. First, you tell us what we're going to do, and then you tell us we're not what we're not going to do. You know what? I quit. I'm walking off the set today. If this wasn't my house, I'd leave right now. But I can't walk, and I have no place to go. And I don't drive. So I, it, it's a Pyrrhic victory. And look that up, boys and girls. Um, I'm going to sit back down. You know what? You know what, Mayor? Get your butt on the show, and then we'll talk about programming. So it sounds like um, reading through the comments that uh, we might try to get um, the Hillywood show. So we are they're talking about that, and we're, um, it looks like we're trying to get them maybe to come to PopCon, or they wanted to come to PopCon, um, which of course didn't happen. So maybe you know PopCon twenty twenty one. 
so you you have no information to what you're saying. They could oh. have been coming. They could not be coming. We don't know. Maybe they don't know. It might happen next year. No, that was it. so. I, I'm trying to follow the conversation. I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to you know ah. look at kids. I'm trying to shop all this stuff. No, no, no. Let the mayor. The mayor's getting direct. They courted Popcon to come yeah. as YouTube yeah. guests. Well, that means they need to up their courting. You know, was it just a rose or was it a rose and a kiss, Carl? I mean, how how much courting was there? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. No, was no. it Applebee's on a second date? That should get you thrown out right away, you know? <laughs> that would be sad. I've never taken anybody to Applebee's, nor would I. I yeah, that's definitely not on the. I would never take a date to Applebee's. No, no. You I take mean, your son to Applebee's, though. You would. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's a dad and son place. Yeah, I wouldn't. So here's something that if you're like a coffee geek, that this might be, you know, a good thing. So this has nothing to do with Popcon. Uh, I found Trail Magic Coffee Roasters. They're up in Wisconsin. And I found these guy, this guy at a farmer's market in the Wisconsin Dells um, in October when we were up there. You know, and, I, you know, old popcorn was, he, I grew up in the Wisconsin Dells. Oh, you I, did? That's right. You know, I, that was how, where Dell Shannon was born. That was where, you know, Avery Dell Hawkins, you know, the great second baseman for Chicago. Eric, oh, never mind. Did you write, did you, did you write the, did you ride the duck boats or did you invent the duck boats up in the Dells? I, I'm not allowed to say about my time with the duck boats at all. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> so is that, um, Coffee in the bean? Yeah. Yep. It's whole bean coffee. Um, and each flavor is inspired by a different trail that this guy has hiked. And um, I I recommend it. It's really good. I have it. Uh, it's my weekend coffee where I can set and enjoy it. And not As opposed to your your weekday my, my morning you, coffee every you, day. You, you don't enjoy your weekday coffee? I do. But, you know. It's not like I get to sit down and like really enjoy it. I and like my weekday coffee is like in the truck on the way to work. Well, you know, you you might want to leave yourself a few extra minutes and enjoy your weekday coffee. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know you're getting up a mite early. Uh, just a mite. <laughs> Scope yeah, well, early. Uh, Julie, Julie's out of rehab for coffee. We have. Got to be very careful around Julie. She, I think she does not drink coffee. Man, Ugh. I don't. I don't know if we can be friends anymore if you don't drink coffee. I don't drink much coffee anymore. But you used to. Oh yeah, I enjoy coffee, and yeah. and if I go to Starbucks, I'll have a coffee. Or or if we went to this place in person, I would try their coffee. You know, I'd get a flat white and have a little taste. But mm, okay. For the most part, you know me. I like a good cup of tea with a little honey. And uh, well, these are good gifts that people can buy. Yeah, I, and um, also on the coffee geek side of things, I found a way to, to make a new way to make coffee. There's new to me anyway, and it's called a mocha pot. And so it's pressurized and it bubbles it up and it, then it drips through and makes espresso. And uh, I I would really like one of these for Christmas. So if Carol, if you're listening, one of these little Balente pots would be kind of nice. And what are the chances that she's in another room just sitting in front of the computer <laughs> listening to you when she has to hear you ramble all the time? I don't think so. <laughs> Probably. The, the the chances are pretty low. So I would send her the picture and go, as soon as you can walk, go buy this. You know, that something <laughs> sweet and romantic like that. You know. <laughs> Sorry I didn't kill you. Can you get this for me? You know. Oh, uh, totally relapsing. Uh nope, nope, can't go there. I ran that joke in my mind and went. Nope, can't go there. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's okay. It's the holidays. Indulge. I, 
I also found something really cool for our D and D friends. So let me pull this one up. This is this is a real wizard's beard right here. It's a it's a game master screen that's made out of wood and looks like it has iron hinges and iron hinges. That was my stripper name many years ago. A lot of people don't, don't reel that way. So it was it didn't work out. Obviously, it was a poor name. Um, I thought they opened for Green Room Rockers and you know they might they might have uh, they were a small band but you know they had a steady garage band following at the time yeah no it looks cool it looks like it was made you know artisan made yeah i think so. it's it's a netsy shop so it definitely probably is so it looks looks pretty cool how much is it dear 152 dollars okay turn the page you know you know and so you know, for you folks not able to buy food this holiday, you know, open the kids' piggy bank. Go get that for somebody. I think that'd be a fine gift this year. It's I, I bet uh, Josh Dimery would uh, from Dimeryville would like that. I bet yeah. you we have people in our audience that could make that. Oh, I imagine so. I imagine so. Yeah. I bet. Uh, let's see, Jacob could probably do the uh, the um, wood burning or laser etching on there if you gave him this stuff and then the the fancy hinges might be difficult to come up with but we could probably find something fancy hinges they actually opened for the beach boys in 66 i think i remember yeah, were you there oh i was there absolutely i was i was i was but a young bud in a the pipe of life at that point but um yes i was probably there. Um, if not, I'll tell a story that I was there, and that would be just as interesting. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is we'll so have to get. If, to um, what What are you wanting for Christmas? Me? I know you said health and all that, you know, nonsense. But like, if I were to buy you a gift, what should I go looking for? First of all, let me tell you, not nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> health, not not you know, maybe other years. This year, not nonsense. You know, I don't know. I don't know, a couple of pieces of rubber I could put underneath my walker over there. And, uh, um, <laughs> you know, one can always get me something comedy related, you know, and probably not DVDs because you probably go looking for an Abbott and Costello or Lauren Hardy movie. I probably have all that stuff already. But, I don't know. I'll show you something. Here's a gift I bought myself. Oh, okay. from, from Chris Costello, daughter of Lou Costello, who I've kind of built a relationship with over the years. Okay. Um, of my connection with Who's On First in New York. So it's really terrific speaking to the daughter of one of your heroes. And she was selling stuff out of... Um, she had in surplus and it, here's a just a groucho ornament oh that's cool but it's so cool because i'm not going to use it as an ornament because it's delicate i'm trying to get you where you can see that it's it's seated over here you can't all i'm showing you is my stomach um but it sits down so it it kind of sits in place uh-huh i can balance it on my hand there a little bit so, you know, if you would have given me that, I'd say that would have been a great and thoughtful Christmas gift, you know, and especially this year. Here's an early final thoughts, but everybody's hurting for money. You don't have to buy expensive things in the past that you would have bought for your friends, or your family, something that you know of your friend. That's the kind of great gift you get, you know. For Julie and and um, I, I, I and and any shoes you want to get a girl a present buy her shoes just and boys always notice the shoes that's kind of like rule seven in the you better be smarter rule book when you know notice the shoes boys I'm telling you and, and if you need advice on shoes definitely ask Gabrielle because she has that that's how that friendship started with her and I and Popcon. You know, I commented on her shoes and, you know, 
And now she's posting tags me in pictures of shoes that she's going to get for whatever reason. So that is interesting. I wish there was a Chiron that cut across the tip. By law, <laughs> Mr. Spellos is not allowed within 500 feet of this conversation. You know? <laughs> it's been one of those episodes today. That yes, you just got to well, sit there and be quiet. I'm kind of in that mood. It's Christmassy. I, you know, I, I had an eggnog with a little eggnog thinner. I, I finished my work early today. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just feeling the uh, Christmassy. Okay. You know, it's a different one. It's early. I haven't had a tree in ten years there, less. So it's the little things right now, and I'm pulling out uh, Christmas tree ornaments. Um, they're seventy years old that you know my mother gave me, and just cool stuff. You know, a tree to me. Is it's like a timeline, you know? Okay. I even bought this one online. It's it it looks like it's a sleigh, and it says twenty twenty with like two little penguins. But the sleigh is really just a roll of toilet paper, and that's what they're they're <laughs> writing on. And I thought, well, that's going to be on the tree for the rest of my life. That, that you know, because I you know I you know because. 2020 might have been in the crapper, but it was what you don't want to buy the new. First of all, consider me a, I'm from the 60s and 70s, so the speed those video games go could send me into epileptic shock. Um, I can't even imagine. And you know, whatever it's sold for online, it's going to be jacked up by threefold. No, I don't buy the new everything. I don't buy the new phone. I don't buy the new thing when it comes out. Consume. Yeah, yeah. Consume. I, I mean, yeah. This is the this is a consumer society and a consuming society. So feel free to, you know, at least people aren't killing each other trying to get into department stores this year, you know, for these things, but it's not worth it. For what? So you have the game that you already play a day early on a no, it's it's about the status. It's about saying, I have the PS5. I have the new iPhone. You know, I don't I don't play in that arena because that doesn't interest me. Yeah. What interests yeah, me is, is yeah. I have ornaments 70 years old. You know, you know, that's uh, no 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 I'm serious. The clock works back. What impresses me is things that have lasted. You know, friendship, okay. friendships, good wine. You know, it, today's today's news is is gone tomorrow. Today's starlet is tomorrow's waitress at Denny's. You know, it just it's an unforgiving society in that respect. So, no, Kev, I would rather buy a Kevin Mitchell baseball card for forty one dollars and have you sign it and hang that up in my place. That would be a much better gift for me. You know, it's well, the forty one dollar version was already signed by Kevin Mitchell. Well, crap, I can save a whole lot of money then and buy a whole mess of cards. And then yeah, you can sign exactly. it. I could have the Kevin shrine up here, you know, so. <laughs> yeah, I I'm not a big fan of getting the latest and greatest stuff when it comes out. It's like, you, you know, it's it's obsolete out the door. Oh, sure. And it always has been. I mean, I was, you know, in the early to mid 90s when processors were doubling in speed every six months. Right. It 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 was a waste of time to try to keep up and keep the latest and greatest stuff because you just couldn't do it. You can't. Right? You um, have to find what works for you and enjoy it. And, you know, but that grind less is, is, is in us. We got to get it. I got to get it. They got it. They got it. They got it over yeah. there. You know, it's a mentality. It's like a drug addict. It takes hard. It, it takes work to beat. What is Ju I'm across the room. Uh, Julie says your tree is beautiful, by the way. Thank so. you. I'm not done yet, Toots. I got a little more tinsel and some um, <laughs> and football helmets, believe it or not. That's an old, old tradition of 30 little tiny football helmets. In fact, my ex-girlfriend of, well, 30, 30 years ago now, 
when she saw the picture of the tree, she wrote me and said, something missing? <laughs> and I wrote and I wrote her back and went, oh, don't you worry, they'll be going up. And I did take a picture and um, sent it to her via Instagram today. So it's the little things. I got, you know, um, it's a precious Christmas. It's certainly last Christmas when I decided I was moving to Indiana. I envisioned what next Christmas would be like at my house, that I would hold the party, you know? Yeah. Not that one of my students would be taking me to the doctor twice a week, you know? It kind of did, but I have written and worked and created and continued a um, an improv company and acting two workshops, and we produce comedy every Tuesday. So I've been very prolific during the pandemic because... I'm on the clock. I can't. I can't take the year off. Tinsel and uh, Julie says tinsel was the favorite part of the of the trees for her. And I I hate tinsel because I have like childhood scarring from having to pick all the tinsel up off the floor. I don't like tinsel. No, thank you. You know, but if your cat eats a piece of tinsel and it comes out the back, if you grab it onto it and give it a whole thing, a cat will take off like a lawnmower. Go right across the room, go all spinning all around. But you got to give it a pull, you know, a good tug like a John Deere, you know, one of them good American kind of machines. Um, oh, stop being a bah humbugger. Well, I just yeah. don't like tinsel. I mean, it, it, that is that okay to not oh, like? Yeah. And just so you know, it doesn't care for you either. Okay, well, probably not. Yeah. Well, definitely, no, definitely not. I I'm looking at tinsel right now, and it it doesn't even want to look at the computer. Oh, I I did like these, Kevin Mitchell, like the old uh, Christmas lights that like used to bubble. Did you have any of those? That bubble? Yeah. They had they had water in them and they would like bubble a little bit. I'm just shaking my head. You kids. Can no, this you was, this was like in the 80s. I'm in I'm in my prime sex, drugs, and rock and roll years in the 80s. Okay. Well, and that's why you would think you would have them. Once again, um, Mr. Spellos is not allowed to be in this conversation 500 feet from the microphone. Um, Here we go. I, I Let me... No, I, I, I've never heard of such a thing. Are they sort of like those disco shoes that had goldfish in them? That, you know, actually had 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 water and fish in the, in the, in the heels? Here we go. You know, those blank, blank pumps, as they used to call them? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, those... There we go. Love, love me some eye stock photos here. So, like this part here has liquid in it, and it like bubbles. You've never seen these before. What? <laughs> no, I have. I just enjoy making you suffer and describe it. No, I, of course, I've never seen these before. They look like Chinese lanterns. What bad Chinese thing. lanterns have you been looking at? I go to much more interesting Chinese places than you do, obviously. Well, obviously, yeah. obviously, because I... Uh... And Kevin, those aren't the old Christmas lights. Those are your old Christmas lights. <laughs> the old Christmas lights were the sun and the moon. Those are the old Christmas lights. <laughs> yeah. Did, I, did, like, you have to, like get the flint and steel and, and spark your Christmas lights? Is that what, what you're saying? It's a Dickensian Christmas wherever I am, you know? It is, it's, and you know what? The funny thing about that image is in London City itself, in London proper, it only snowed seven times on Christmas Day in the 20th century. But it was this image of 19th century London that we had of it's Christmas and Christmas Carol and Scrooge and Merry Christmas, you know, that, that whole thing. Yeah. I was, uh, you know what? There will be a Christmas in London someday. That, what? you know what? 
that's the Christmas gift I can't have this year. Is I would have been twice already to England. I would have I would have made my pre Christmas trip to England in in October. Um, mm-hmm. Just spoke with a friend up in the north today and showed me his tree and his wife. They put the tree up and they're already. He said he's already um, kind of sugared out on Christmas movies. I said, "Oh, Bad Santa will give you a nice bitter taste in your mouth." Okay. <laughs> it's one of my favorite evil Christmas movies because it has. Well, boys and girls, you have to ask your parents if you can watch that movie because it has um, as um, Captain America doesn't like bad language, um, so Captain America would not like this movie very much. Sure. Uh, Sure. Me, I'm hoping to go to a a beach at some point in time for Christmas. You mean like California or Venice Beach or yeah, Florida Key West? You know, Hawaii maybe. Why? You know, but Santa in shorts. Hang on, come in. Uh oh, is this the mayor? No, it's it's gifts. Oh. We have a guest. What? No, I. Well, I'm going to get up. I. I actually think it's a package. So. Okay. Um, so listen, I'll be back in about a week because that's a very long walk for me. Uh, <laughs> but, but don't worry. Well, and, uh, Peter goes to get hit a package from the door. Um, you can check out all a bunch of our sponsors at popcon.us, and. I'm sure we just touched on a, a few today, but there's a little something for everybody. If you're looking for um, books or other art or... Buttons. I'm going to be a few minutes. There seems to be three packages out here. Oh, now there's three packages. So I got to ramble on a lot longer now. Well, so, come on another two minutes because, you know, I don't want to fall. Okay. Well, at least we're live. If you do fall, we'll we'll hear it. Wouldn't and, that be great? Our oh. ratings would go through the roof. Yes, we could double our, our viewing. I'll I'll fake my own death right now. That's what I'll do. <laughs> um, but one thing that I really wanted to do with this episode was to get the um, small businesses that help support Popcon out there. Um, if you're looking for something. Look here first. There's a lot of cool stuff. If you know a vendor, um, you know that they've been affected um, a lot this year with hardly, you know, almost zero shows. So it's been hard on a lot of those folks. Um, And so if you can get out there and support them. um, Also, vendors that do um, other things like Ren Fairs. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Good. I'm all right. I didn't fall or anything, but thanks for asking. <laughs> I'm sure you would tell me if you fell. Oh, no, you'd hear a thud. Well, that's what I was a, waiting for next. You know, there would be a an Oliver Hardy noise like, oh, that would happen. <laughs> <laughs> and then followed by, please call Tara, Les. Yeah, Les, Tara. Uh, I'm and I can't get up. She'll be here tomorrow, thank God. Uh, so, at one. Are we going to do an unboxing video? Is that what oh, this you know, that means something else in my neighborhood, but. Uh, oh, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll do an unboxing. Oh, no. This could be. Oh, why not? Why, why not? I hope it's not. Well, I can't say that joke either. Well, it's too. <laughs> You know what I get for drinking and during the daytime. That day drinking will kill you. Mm-hmm. Oh, fantastic! Ha. And my hands, I'm strong, but I guess who's Mortimer Grimm? It's. It, they say it's hard to support small businesses since some some of them weren't able or aren't able to remain open. Um, well, here's you know what I oh au contraire, my friend Abby, hi Abby, um, has a friend who was making Christmas pies, pies for Christmas, and 
I said to Abby, I'll support her. I said, get me the address. Well, I missed the Thanksgiving date, but I spoke to this wonderful woman today, and uh, I'll get the okay if I can mention her name next week. And sure, I've sure. already ordered my Christmas berry pie. So you know, that sounds tasty. I like good pie. It was well. There was the, the choices, and I will figure it out close to today. Triple berry pie or butter crumble apple pie. And the, see, they had me at butter. That's the word they shouldn't put in there. I'll take one of each, please. Now, it's, it's all about looking at stuff. So just so you know, this is a, what was missing from the tree for me was the red thing under the tree where the presents would go. My mother always had a, you know, Here one that was really color the tree skirt. You know, and if you looked at this side first, well, yeah. it would look like a little snowman and look really cute. But the first thing I saw was this side, and it looks like, some sort of Soviet issue uniform that you know, where <laughs> some sort of country is a is a black T-shirt with the star that means we killed lots of people in the revolution. And but then you realize, oh, it's Mr. Snowman's hat. It's well, see, I see the snowman first, and I went, oh, somebody got you an ugly sweater with a big snowman on it for one of your improv bits. No, I have a big ugly sweater that my dear friend Grace Wallace. When one of my trips to England bought me in England. So I always wear my Christmas um, ugly sweater every Christmas. And, you know, Santa and Mrs. Claus are being interviewed in two weeks. So, yeah, you know, I'll probably, I don't know, me, but he'll probably wear that sweater that day, I would think. And then I'm going to have a shearing at some point. Um, oh, no. I, well, I worry because I can't see and because of my problem with my hands right now. Um, mm -hmm. I don't dare take a razor to my face. Um, so I have uh, Tara's working above and beyond. I said, would you be interested in shaving me? I said, once again, she's shaving me. Robert gets to hit me with a pie. People are lining up to do evil things to me right now. Oh. Uh, I know you want to be on that group. but uh, <laughs> I, I have no interest in shaving you. Well, Well, once again. We can't go there. There. Shall yeah, I open yeah, another? Yeah. Sh shall I open another present? If you want to, sure. Why not? I'll, I'll unbox. I have. You know, I have nothing to hide there. from the public that has not already been sealed in a affidavit by the grand jury. So, the uh, mayor loves unboxing videos. It's well, oh, the problem is I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see. They're around your neck. Which no, I know where they are. I can't see which side it wants me to open. You know because. You don't want it to be a sweater and you just cut the sweater open. Sure, sure. You know, which I'm going to do right now. Normally, they those packages have like a pull tab. Yeah, not on this one, though. Okay, fair enough. And I'm trying not to. I got a couple of rogue fingers on this hand, so I got to be careful. I, I'm feeling the right thing. Otherwise, last I cut off my finger. Oh, no. This, no, you don't want to see this. You know, this is um, no, but I'm willing to show. This is Tums. You know, that for chewable oh. Tums, very lovely. And um, because you have to smell pretty to look pretty, this is some lovely aloe and lanolin baby powder that is, you know, um, has cortisone, kids. So it keeps uh, not cortisone. You can tell how many drugs they have me on for my back. It has aloe and cornstarch. So there you go. Just the normal things. Is there but, only two packages? Well, there's another package, but I believe I know what that is. And that's my, uh, that's my, uh, you know, Atkins drink. You know, it's my protein drink. Oh, sure, 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 sure. And I can take a peek, but I kind of know it comes through Prime. And I, unless, you know, Unless someone bought me something, I just have a feeling. Well, I found another pretty cool geek place to shop. Yeah, I was right. It's it's my grandpa juice. So do tell. We got time for oh, it's a time not five thirty five. The dudes. Well, that looks like. So they're hockey jerseys. That's very cool. It looks like a big Lebowski. Yeah, and uh, they have you know. 
whatever your fandom, whether it's Star Wars or Star Trek, I think they have a little bit of everything for everybody. So, well, that's cool. Yeah. Um, they are a little expensive, but they're very cool looking and they're really high quality. Um, one of the guys that you, I used to work with had um, one of how these. Much? How much? Um, well, let's click on the Dire Wolves. Um, because hockey jerseys can usually run up the $89, $90 in that. Yeah, you know. I think they're in the $100. Yeah, well, that's in the ballpark of what they get for hockey jerseys. So, yeah. Yeah, a hundred bucks. You know, but if you're getting, you know, your favorite team as a Star Wars as a Star Wars hockey team, then that's a cool gift. It is a cool gift. You know, if you're looking for stuff for your friends or your loved ones or your friends' loved ones or that's kind of unique and a little different this year, and there's also helping the artists, whether they be local or at least um, small businesses. And just don't wait till Saturdays to have Small Business Saturday. Help them all year around, you know. And th this is another cool gift. Um, Thank you, Jordan. Jordan, do you have a favorite hockey team, Jordan? We don't know. We're not on real time here. It'll take minutes. I do. You see, I'm wearing my New York Islanders jersey. I have a favorite hockey team. I would have to go with uh, Blackhawks. You know, it's the, the closest hockey team, I think, to me. But I went, so I've watched a couple hockey games up there with the, the folks that run the board. Well, you had you have a history of the Indianapolis Racers, and I know them because they were the team that signed Wayne Gretzky first before they folded. Yeah. The, the, oh, yeah. Indy used to – I don't know if they still have a junior – Hockey team or not? Uh, the, there is a AHL, the, the, the Indy Fuel or Fire. They, I forget what they yeah, yeah. yeah. It, but it, the Racers were one of the teams in the WEHA that folded before the NHL brought those teams in. You know, like oh, the, okay. the Quebec Nordiques that went on to be now are the Colorado Rockies, but they absorbed. Okay. The better of the WHA teams. I'm, you know, I'm a hockey fan, so wow, that's heavy. Woo! Yeah, I that's do not know my hockey history. I barely know my baseball history. So hockey. So Jordan says the Blackhawks are also her team. Oh, excellent! And in the box with my grandpa juice, hooks for all the things for the Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. Oh, I need. I need. I needed oh, some extra. So, I'm all shocked. So, do we have any final thoughts? Yeah, I do. I made that up. I had no idea what I was going to say there, but you know, but it, it's it's going to be a different holiday. Just get over it and make it different. Different start 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 a tradition. You know, and your old traditions are not over. They're on hiatus. You know, this is the jump the shark episode of your life where everything kind of gets different for a while. So do something different. Um, you know, Elf on the Shelf. I saw the funniest one today ever. Okay. And all I could say it was a picture of a doll and a farm animal. And, <laughs> and the doll was perhaps a character that Letter Nimoy made famous. Um, <laughs> the farm animal is something perhaps that's tasty with, um, you know, fried green tomatoes or something like that. <laughs> nice. And it was just a picture, and I went, well, that's brilliant, you know. Um, of course, the children won't understand that one. And, and you know, if you have kids, please, please, please don't. Um, uh, but or do. Um. I, I'll show you a picture of a. It's my favorite Star Wars Elf on the Shelf mashup picture. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll post that on your page, so all your so, fans can see it. 
we're talking about Elf on the Shelf. The Leafs 11. And so we're, you know, and so we were like, we don't need to do the Elf on the Shelf this year, right? Do you? And he was like, no, Dad, you do. Because I want to see how creative you can be. Oh, I love this child. This <laughs> this child called you out, brother? He did. So um, it, it's been a, you know, I'm taking the challenge of seeing what I can do. Uh, Here, here's what I would do. I would dress the elf up as, you know, <laughs> Freddy Krueger. I would, I would really start dressing the elf up as the weirdest characters of all, you know, and, you know, I would... I would just get weird. You have a chance now to really impress your son. I I had uh, so I have Lego figures that are about the same size as the Elf on the Shelf, and so I have Django Fett, and so he had the Elf on the Shelf on a headlock, you know, on the floor. What about a an a costume for the Elf? Like a the Elf was wearing, let's say, um, a nurse's outfit and a medical boot on one ankle because maybe she had fallen downstairs at one point. Um, I don't know where I find elf on the shelf clothing hats. Well, we have artisan, probably someone here, maybe even listening today could make that for you, you know, and, and, and. Oh, there you go. Elf on the shelf needs a cosplay as uh, Krampus. Um, <laughs> You're such a weird chick, Julie. That's why I like you. Um, yeah, it, it has to be a little weird. You know, I'll put up, pick, enjoy the holiday however you want, and don't be afraid of it being weird and different. Okay, don't don't go to grandma's because you want to have next Thanksgiving and Christmas at grandma's. You yeah, know, yeah. make cookies like I said last week, and and and. I don't bake. I can't bake right now. But if someone baked cookies and dropped them off here, I would send you cookies. I would find a gourmet cookie place and send, you know, what about a cookie exchange? You know, you still can do that with your neighbors, but just yeah, don't yeah. pout that it's not going to be the Christmas, you know, that it normally was. It's not. It's not. And you know what? Take 10 of those dollars and give it to a charity. And, and, you know, go back on the page and help with the Make-A-Wish kids or find the one that you like. I, I support the, uh, oddly enough, the American Arthritis Foundation, you know, it's where I get my money to figuring it's going to a cause I'm going to need at some point, like it now. So, um, well, whatever makes you feel good, do it your way this year. Yeah, I, I think that uh, this whole year, uh, one thing that I'm getting out of it is that uh, – it's forced change, right? And that's not necessarily a bad thing. No. I, I don't know that I would be doing as much other stuff as I currently am if I was in the same gig I was in and didn't change, yeah. right? So, I'm telling you, this year has been such a positive for me. I mean, it sounds strange, um, but... I've, I've worked more. I've moved here. I'm surrounded by you guys. I have people who love me and vice versa. You know, it's it's been the weirdest, ugliest blessing ever, you know, th this year. So uh, everybody goes, you know, it, it's it's been deadly. But it looks like we're turning a corner in many areas. So have some hope. Make some cookies, you know. Make cookies and Spend the extra afternoon driving them south to a, an old friend who's probably un, unable to bake by himself anymore and, and would love, you know, a couple dozen cookies to have for that. I'm guilty. Let's. And and he likes cranberries and white chocolate in his cookies, kids. They were very good, by the way. I told you that. They were delicious. You know. <laughs> if you're looking, get, get an old man something. Yeah, you give go. me your youth. Come come <laughs> close so I can bite your neck and take your years away. That's what I'm looking for. Give me your years, people. I know. I, or or some, you know, single more, I, you know, whiskey would be fine, too. That's that thing. Kevin Mitchell says, uh, check on your friends, you know, because we don't know how it's affecting everybody. And that that that's really, that's really true. You know, um, I've got friends all over the place, and I'm trying to touch base with them. Um, 
as much as I can, you know, so uh, because I know they're all in difficult spots. You know, yeah. You know? So um, and that's why we started doing this show, because it, it helped, you know, us get through April and then May and then June. And now it's December. Yeah. And next week, we're what are we going to talk about next week, sir? I, I, well, didn't didn't we get an edict from the director from above that uh, Christmas movies that some people love and some people hate? I guess so. You know. Oh, the, see the, the little weasel. He's he's listening right there. He's, what does it say? We are going to do Christmas movies that people both love and hate at the same time. Oh, he's not there. You put that up, didn't you? I did. I did put oh. that up. Don't yeah. scare me like that, that he's lurking. And I always see, I always think the mayor's lurking in the background somewhere. He probably is. Sort of like a cute computer virus. You know, <laughs> he, you just know he's always there somewhere. Um, and uh, like we said, support your local gunslinger, which was the name of a movie in the 70s, but support your local vendors, both in your neighborhood and in the Popcon family. Um, go online. Help somebody out, buy something small, you know, food. People will appreciate food. I'm telling you, you, you laugh at me with the cookies, but it'd be a lovely gift this year. Of I made this for you. You know, it could be a scarf or it could be a couple of brownies. That's the coolest thing in the world when someone goes, I made this for you. And so if you can do that, do that. Invite or, them or over. Just get uh, gift certificates for a local restaurant, you know, because they're hurting too. Like any restaurant that's not a huge chain, you know, that has a bunch of corporate money behind it, you know, um, buy a gift certificate and give that to your friends. Um, that's definitely something that uh, I always like to have is like, oh, I get lunch for free today. Right. I'm Peter Spellos, because he bought me, you know. <laughs> and and for heaven's sake, will someone find me an Italian so I can get a chicken cutlet parmesan that's breaded and tastes like a chicken cutlet parmesan? I mean, you folks know meat out here, but geez, I can't. I, I, I had a chicken cutlet the other night. It never seen an Italian in its life. I swear to God. Um, but they, they didn't get like past the Appalachian Mountains in the whole migration process. I guess, you know, it just or Chinese food. Don't even start me about having, you know, Chinatown near you when you're living in New York. But um, <laughs> so, you know, so is, is Christmas. We'll talk about you know, we, things in the, in the next couple of weeks. Was, we do want to talk about presents at some point to, you know, direct good. If you could buy your one present for yourself, what would you buy? But is there a Christmas meal, you know, that you like, like Thanksgiving? Th think about it, boys and girls, what you want to talk about. It. See, Les wants this. And please, if you're out there and you have money, buy him six or seven of these just so he's inundated with them this year. You know, <laughs> just make sure everybody buys him the same present over there. Um, and they're not expensive, really. No, why don't you just post it on the Popcon page with your name underneath and going, for all the hard work, when I drink my first cup of coffee in the morning, I'll think of you. Love less. And you know, autograph and signed over there. And I know, Les, when I get up every morning, I think of you. <laughs> oh, yeah? I don't know that that's a good thing. Yeah, I'm not telling you what room it is, but just know that you know, you're in my thoughts, my brother. You know, yeah. <laughs> and with that, I think we're going to say good night, Gracie. Well, good night, Gracie. We'll see you next week. Be nice.